and say, movie forward. All right, people, this is December 20, 29th, 2010 edition of Ansei, your boy Ant-Man. And um, the subject, movie, movie forward, M-O-V-I-E, forward. And the reason why I chose that title and this subject, which you probably don't know what the subject is right now, but if you guess the idea of what movies are today, you get a pretty good guess. I am like up to here and probably you too. You're probably up to here with with the idea of 3D. 3D there, 3D there. Every movie you see now is 3D crazy. Look, don't get me wrong. Well look kid. My first taste of a 3D glasses and seeing stuff come to me before my eyes was like, oh my god, amazing. I understand the kids today, they need to experience what us adults had experienced when we we first had a taste of that. With that being said, the kids of today need to experience that. That means 3D is okay for cartoons, small action films maybe. I don't need to see 3D in my scary movies. I don't need to see 3D in my western movies, uh, my kung fu movies, I don't need to see 3D outside the movies. Like now, Force Center, ESPN has 3D. I mean, I know I don't want to get away from the subject, but just get away for a second. TVs come now with 3D glasses. Game systems come with 3D glasses. Are we serious? Really? We need to bag it up a little bit, okay? Let's bag it up a little bit, seriously. I didn't see nothing wrong with the DVD player. I didn't. No. Mr. Blu-ray or Mrs. Blu-ray, whatever you want to call yourself. I didn't see nothing wrong with the DVD player. I think we, that's why I came with the subject movie forward. Because I think we're going too fast for our own technology. I, I, don't get me wrong, when we had VSSH tapes or VCR tapes, where that was, it was annoying. It was annoying to watch the movie. You wanted to see a certain part. You fast forward or you whine, you're like, it'll get on your nerves, try to get to your favorite part. So I understand, I understand when technology of the DVD came out, it was like, yay, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. I understand that. Perfectly. Get it, get it. You want to get to the chapter, boom, chapter eight. You had your, your great fighting scene, or the best killing scene, or the best uh, romantic scene. You there, boom, no problem. Got that. When DVD went to HD DVD, remember that? Yeah, long lived that, didn't it? Yeah, how many HD DVD players people bought? Hmm, remember them days? Yeah, long lived the HD DVD. And, it, and then from HD DVD to now this Blu-ray, how do you possibly expect anybody to keep a catalog of movies when you keep on switching the format of the movies. I know Blu-ray is supposed to be more pics and more clarity, more quality. Everything looks so real. But you tell that to the, the middle age family, the middle income family, the low income family, the low guy on the totem pole. You tell them people that. That is great for them. For the millionaire and billionaire, even the even the the six figure guy, yeah, it's great for them. Yeah, it's more toys to tweak with. But anybody who five figures or less, that they, they busting their balls trying to trying to keep up with this. And then on top of that, 
let's just go to the movie theater and spend ten dollars or more on a movie that's going to be in 3D. I mean, everybody, you know, Hollywood's so busy trying to react and remake stuff. No, no. Why don't they remake stuff that's what futuristic and bring it, bring, bring it, bring it to the future even better? Give you an example, RoboCop. Anybody remember RoboCop? They did wonders for that movie with the lack, the lackluster uh, amount of money they had on that movie to use. Now we got this technology to make Robo a, a, a character like RoboCop look more extremely badass. Use this technology for something like that. Don't use this technology for Yogi Bear. Are we? Are you serious, Yogi Bear? Are you kidding me, Yogi freaking Bear? So, so, so the point, back to the point I'm trying to make. Sometimes movies being no movie for it. It's not going forward at all. It's like quicksand. Yeah, you go down fast, but when you went down to nowhere, you went down to to doomsday. You didn't move. You move. You moved to death. And we like moving to death, don't we? We like getting down to death. <laughs> all I'm saying, we need to just chill and get back to the basics. And that's actually making good quality movies. Get the pen, the paper out, and start using your brain. Don't let technology run what we think or should be movies that we like. The day we let technology take over like that, the day art dies. And I don't want art to die. I want the art to keep on going like a no tomorrow. <sighs> and say. So